How to Help My Child with ADHD Study Better. Hey there, I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for Youth. Thank you so much for joining me. Getting homework and going through an entire day of school can be a lot for any child, especially a child with ADHD because they have so much energy to deal with, right? So we want to look at how to help our children with ADHD learn better and study better and focus better. So we're going to, what I'd love for you to do right now is also think about the fact that an assignment, when an assignment is given or a new concept is learned, it's really good to get on it with your child right away because the longer you wait, the harder it becomes because at that point, it can be exciting to work on an assignment really close to the deadline because I used to do that and because it, it really does raise that adrenaline and gives you an adrenaline rush. But as the child gets older and this learned concept becomes a habit, it becomes harder because it's just so much more work for them and then it becomes stressful and a child with ADHD starts to hate the process. Any child would hate the process, let alone one with ADHD. So take this concept of starting ahead of time as one of the strategies and then add it to the next three uh, strategies that we're going to look at. So number one here is set up a workstation. So in my classroom, I have different workstations. So every child has their own desks and their chairs and everything. But I also set up a chair um, against a wall so that a child a desk and a chair, sorry, a child can go there if they want to. Another one that's um, in our reading area so that they can go there or one that's seated right beside my desk if they want one-on-one -on -one support. They're also allowed to just sit at their desk. I give them that option and I leave it universal for all the kids so that because I have lots of different learning needs so they can choose where they want to sit and really make the most of their time where they feel they'll be the most productive. Most kids tend to sit right beside me because they want the one-on-one -on -one support. But giving them that option, having different spaces for them to study in um, is really going to help your child focus, especially if you take down everything and just have a desk and a chair and nothing else. Okay. Step number two is to create a study schedule. Now, this is not a visual schedule of the day, but actually a schedule of what needs to be done. So I like to have them write down a task and then right beside it is a little box and it serves as a checklist for them to keep on working on their tasks. Okay, um, now one of the other things I do is I, I like to write it right in their planner. So for me, because I don't teach, say, uh, kindergarten or grade one, I would actually have the, I write it on the board and the kids write it down and then they, that way they can check it and the parents can sign it, right? So you can then go around and check to make sure everyone's on task and has done that. Um, this is a really great way to make sure everybody is actually working and parents know and can you can go back and forth and really help each other with getting tasks done. It also allows if you if you take that task and at home break it down to little bits, it helps your children have quick wins and you praise them for it you're going to get kids on board with studying and it'll go by faster. Now these um, assign assignments that you're writing in the planner don't have to be big and exciting. It can be something small like read 15 minutes or um, study three words from your spelling list today. That's it, nothing big. Um, the third one is think about food. Now I find this to be really important because so much of food has sugar in it, right? So really look at what you're giving your kids. Is there a lot of sugar? Is there a lot of fats? So I like to give my child right now, he doesn't have ADHD, but he, um, he doesn't do well with sugar. So I go for um, less sugar added or no sugar added um, applesauce or uh, yogurt for my child um, so that he's able to... Um, He's able to regulate his emotions a little better. So really focus on what your child can eat here. Um, look at, like imagine a child, a, a class where a teacher has to deal with 30 children and all of them have sugar. It, and then when they have like a sugar high, they have a sugar crash and then the teacher has to deal with that. That's not fair and that's not awesome either. So, um, and also doesn't allow for um, a study environment. So really focus on that. For me, I only let kids eat um, sugar at the end of the day because at that point, the parent that put that in, they get to deal with that sugar crash. I make an exception for birthdays because right after I do it right before lunch, they go out, they run it out, run off that energy because especially children with ADHD, they have a lot of energy, right? So let's focus on really um, looking at how much sugar there is in our um, food as well. And I mean, you can give them a little bit, but in moderation. 
All right. So let's thank you so much for joining me. Let's recap really quickly. We looked at why it would be difficult for a child with ADHD to study um, and focus. And we looked at three different strategies. Well, we looked at one big strategy about starting ahead and three different strategies as well. One of them is to set up a workstation. Number two is to create a work schedule. And number three is to think about food. Thank you so much for joining me. I hear my son right now crying, so I'm going to go pick him up. Thank you so much. Take care. Remember to create experience and teach on the heart. Take care, my friends. Bye.